Hi all, welcome to this Team of the Season EPL Market Watch, basically covering the EPL Team of the Season and discussing their respective prices, of course, that have kind of went up and down like a yo-yo, some have went up since they've recovered, some have went down and some have just kind of stayed the same, but if you find this useful, folks, let me know in the comments down below, smash the like as always, sub to the channel if you're new, follow me on Twitter at GZLite, and all the links are down below for polishing the channel and social media links, as always. So basically, the Team of the Season EPL... The interesting thing is the guys like De Gea, De Bruyne and Kane, the guys that have got Team of the Year cards, some of them are just mental in terms of like, they're so kind of cheap. Like for Tonkin for example, I was able to get him for like 220k, um, he's kind of slowly going down to a 200k mark now, but when I sold them on I was able to sell them on for 235, 240 so I'd made like, 5k profit like after tax. Oh, man, these like 200, just about 200k as well. But some of them um, are just kind of mental. Like Ashley Young, for example, he um, went to like a low point last night of like 275. He then went back up over 300k and he's now kind of like crashed back down to like 245, 250. It's just like mental on the Xbox market. It just Fathom's belief. The most actual crazy one I've seen saying that is Roberto Firmino. Um, when we get to him, but Firmino is just kind of mental. Salah, there's only been a handful in the market at a time. The cheapest I've seen is a 1.3 million. So you're kind of not really getting them cheap. De Bruyne, he's pretty expensive. This David David Silva is kind of mental for his rating and price. He is ridiculously cheaper than like Firmino, Ali. It makes no sense. It's like Deli Alley has been around 400k. Someone like David Silva, he's been like under 400. It's just baffling. Like for me, I would rather use David Silva than Deli Alley. Um, Kane obviously is slightly r lower rated than his team of the year, but I still wouldn't personally use it. I just don't see the appeal to it. Tom, uh, Nick Pope even, I was going to say Tom Pope, that's the Port Vale striker, but Nick Pope, he has fluctuated like mad, he went to a point last night where you could buy him as low as 31k on Snipe, he went to points where he was like 55, 60k, then it was like 65, 70 and then he went back down and now he seems to be settling around that 65, 70k mark, and it's mad, it's like, when I bought him it was 50 odds and I got finally got one snipe after about 200 attempts but it's some of them have just don't make sense like how have they went the way they have like Asper Quetta he's got so many cars in the market but the Matic he's like 300k and it's almost like unbelievable the card actually plays really well I will admit that if I was hoping to do reviews on a number of cards but for me no the one last night went on bid for 791k. About 30 seconds later, one went up on the market for 631k. And it didn't take um, like 30 seconds or anything. We thought it would take 30 seconds. It took about 10 minutes for that one to go. And no one bought it, like, no one was buying it, it was like 631k, and you say, oh, that's like about 150k difference right away. Didn't go. And eventually the 631 went, and then a 691 popped up, and where it be the same card, I honestly don't know. But the 631, when I went, when I first saw it, it was when it finally got, I was like, oh, I'll go and buy it, I completely missed it, because I was watching his price. But Manny, his price is more expensive than his FIFA 17 team of the season which is kind of mental. He was like 93, 94 rate I think last year and he's like 330 to 350 yet when last year when he had a higher rated card you could buy him for sub 300k. I was buying him for like 270, 250. I'm kind of like completely baffled by it. Like Lukaku's like the same. Like I'm almost sure Lukaku you could buy for like 500, 600k and he's pretty much more up in value compared to last year. Some of them don't make sense to me, I'm still trying to work my head around that. I'll have to have a proper look at Team of the, uh, team of the Season EPL 17, see if there's any major contrasting difference. But in regards to this Team of the Season, um, 
There's a lot to keep an eye on, especially with the EPL team this season SBC dropping tomorrow and Tuesday, I believe. So hopefully you find this useful, folks. Keep your eyes peeled. Hopefully you get some good deals popping in. Smash likes always, sub to channel if you're new, and I'll catch you all later.